Welcome to another lesson in which we are going to learn how to calculate the area of parallelograms. Now in front of me I have an image for a parallelogram which has a base which is a flat horizontal end in this case and the height which is the measurement of how high is the other side from the base. Now let's take a look at these details. So we have a base for a parallelogram. We're going to give it the letter B. Then if I measure the vertical height, how high do we go before finding the other parallel side? So if I want to go from this side all the way to this side, these are parallel sides and this is on another parallel side. But if I want to go from this side all the way to that side, how high should I go? This is my height. So we're going to give it the letter H. So the base of a parallelogram, we're going to give it the letter B. And the height of a parallelogram, we're going to give it the letter H, where the base is the long side that we rest our parallelogram on. And the height is how far do we need to go upwards in order to find the other parallel side in this current case. The formula for calculation of an air for the area of a parallelogram is as follows. The area of a parallelogram equals to the base multiplied the, by the height, where we are going to give the area a letter A, the base a letter B, and the height a letter H. This is the formula that you need to memorize in order to calculate the area of a parallelogram. Now, let's have an example in order to apply this. In front of us, we do have a parallelogram where we have the following base as 10 feet. Always identify the base and the height first. And then we do have the height, which is two feet. So we have successfully identified the base and the height. Now let's write the formula. Area equals to base multiplied by the height. Now we place the numbers. A equals to the base is 10 feet multiplied by the height of 2 feet, which equals to 20. But 20 what? The, the area is always measured in units squared. Now we do have feet over here, obviously. So the final unit would be 20 feet squared. This is very, very important. Whenever we say the word squared, it means we are measuring area. So the area of the parallelogram in this case equals to 20 feet squared. Let's have another example. So in front of me, I have a tilted parallelogram. It's flipped. Now there's nothing to be confused about. Always look for the horizontal or the slanted long horizontal side which is normally horizontal side and then you can go for how high is the other corresponding parallel side this will be your height and this will be your base so this is an easy way for you to remember this so if I'm going to identify the base it's going to be nine inches and the height is going to be seven inches simply put Let's apply this through the formula directly where we are going to say the area equals to the base multiplied by the height. The area equals to 9 inches times 7 inches. The final answer would be the area equals to 9 times 7 is 63. Now what, what is the unit? Inches squared keep this in mind because we have inches over here and inches over here since they are multiplied with each other we are going to end up the calculation with the correct unit of measurement we have 63 inches squared so if you have centimeters it's going to be centimeters squared if you have meters it's going to be meters squared if you get inches feet yard any measurement or any unit will do as long as you keep in mind once you are done you have to put the unit Square. Now, it's your turn to have a practice 
example where you test your knowledge through uh, solving various uh, problems to help you apply the concept and test your knowledge. So these are a couple problems where you need to find the area of each parallelogram. We got one, two, and three problems. This is the place where you leave your answers. What you need to do is the following. Make sure that you attempt every single one of them and leave your answers in the comments to cross-check with other